Are Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott finally tying the knot? We'll show you why everyone thinks yes and what went down when she and Chloe took 18 shots of tequila. Whew. I'm Kelsey Venus and you're watching The Daily Report. Happy Friday, it's time to party. It's Kylie Jenner's birthday week. Yes, you heard me right. We said week because when you're a Kardashian or a Jenner, you get a whole week dedicated to your birth. And for Kylie, the week started out strong when Travis Scott surprised her Monday by filling her house with thousands of roses. He wrote a note that Kylie shows in her Instagram video saying, quote, happy birthday, we're just getting started. What does that even mean? It's really her birthday month, not week. Let's be honest. And that they were as the two have since flown to Europe to celebrate, enjoying a date night out in Italy and chartering a yacht, a $250 million yacht, of course, named Tranquility, which is roughly the size of a football field and has all the amenities you could ever dream of. <sighs> the life. But could this all be a cover for a wedding? Hmm. After all, Kylie was spotted boarding the private plane to Europe with a white dress. Could it be a wedding dress? Travis already calls Kylie wife or wifey, and while Kylie has enough diamond rings to confuse us for years, is this the moment the two are finally tying the knot? Unfortunately, no. As one source told people, quote, it's not Kylie's wedding and she is only flying to Italy to celebrate her birthday. <laughs> okay, false alarm, no wedding, Kylie is just doing up her 22nd birthday right. Because according to said source, quote, she had a big successful year and she wanted to treat herself, family and friends to the best party. So while Kylie is pampering herself with all of her birthday gifts, she decided to give us a gift as well. And thank you Kylie because it's so good. As a celebration of all things Kylie, she released a new birthday collection of makeup and made a video called Drunk Get Ready With Me, Kylie and Chloe. And boy, did it get wild. Before the two were able to get into the makeup portion, they had already taken nine shots of tequila between the two of them and chased it with Red Bull. Although Chloe doesn't seem to be a fan of this combination, as she told Kylie, quote, I used to do Red Bull and alcohol too, but now that I'm 703, I don't. The two then started their makeup and continued to break out, unsurprisingly, very expensive bottles of tequila. One of the bottles Chloe even had made special for Kylie's 21st birthday, and Kylie broke it out for this special occasion. And thank you for doing so because it gets even better. But even towards the end, Chloe continued to drink and say, quote, it just tastes so bad. And as they keep drinking, they continue to call people on the phone to join them in the studio. They hit up a fan friend and Scott Disick's girlfriend, Sophia Ritchie, who contemplates on coming over to join, Chloe's BFF Malika, who turns them down, Kris Jenner, who calls them drunky monkeys, and eventually, Kim calls to say hi, and that's when we get a glimpse of Saint and Northwest. Ugh, oh, so cute. And in the background, you can hear Kanye say he misses them both Chloe and Kylie cheering, getting the voice of Kanye on their YouTube channel, and Chloe immediately hangs up on them. Classic. Finally at the end, two guests eventually join them, Corey Gamble, Kris Jenner's boyfriend, and Sophia, and watch as the two attempt to finish their makeup. But once finished, it just turns into a wild dance party, and it's so hilarious. Truly crazy, but we're glad Kylie is ringing in her 22nd in style. But we want to know what you think. Will Kylie and Travis ever get married? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you all so much for tuning in to our Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. We're not new, but we're here. <laughs> I'm Kelsey Venus, and I really wish I was part of that. Drunk, get ready with me. It was so fun.